what's up guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how to make the zipper sound. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so to make the zipper sound, you wanna make sure that your lips are curled in like this. You also want to suck in air like a straw at the same time. And you want to tighten your lips so that only a little tiny bit of air comes in. That way you can make that zipper sound. So, <laughs> you can also do it on either side of your lip. You can either do it on your left or your right. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, depending on what you're most comfortable with, it's a little harder to make it on my right. I can make it in the <laughs> middle and the. <laughs> The left a little easier, the right's a little harder for me. When making this sound, keep in mind, you want to keep your lips curled, that's very important. It's not really like you're making a kissing face, you have to curl your lips in, and I find it's your top lip does the most control. So what happens is, your lips are curled in, and your top lip is slightly over your bottom lip, just a little bit, and when you suck in air, your top lip goes inwards, which creates that vibration, which creates the zipper sound. Remember, if you want to make a zipper sound sound really authentic, rather than just going you can tense up your whole face so it sounds a little bit better. Like One thing that I like to use the zipper sound for is when making car noises. A lot of people get a kick out of this when I do something like So it sounds like a tire squeal, and that sounds really cool. So one beat that you guys can practice at home is a hip-hop beat, which sounds like this. And that's how it's done. To make this beat, use your hi-hat, and you need to do an outward snare. You have to pressure on the sides of your lips and you have to say and it's kind of like you're trying to blow the, your hair away from your forehead and such and then you combine it with a and to do that you have to kind of suck in air and you have to tighten the back of your throat your chest should get really tight and it should feel a little bit uncomfortable so if your chest is feeling tight when you do this, then you're probably doing it correctly. And you just say, uh. And that's how it's done. Make sure that you don't drag it on for too long, because sometimes it does sound really dumb. Like, it. Practice that sound, and you should be good. Alright, so I'll just go through it one more time really slow. And then a little bit faster. So that's basically it, and it sounds really nice when you get it down pat. So one thing that's really unique about the zipper sound is that it's really good for transitions such as this beat over here. and so forth. And a lot of beatboxes use this, such as Ballsy and Korean FX and you name it. Remember, you want to suck in like a straw and you want to curl your lips and you want to only make sure that a tiny bit of air is coming in. And I would suggest choosing a side of your mouth because the dominant side is usually the one that makes the best sound. And don't forget to comment and to subscribe and to like this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I hope this helps. Peace out.